Welcome back to my channel. My name is Atiyah. You can call me Tia or Sunny, whichever one you like. And today, as you guys can see, I have a new hairstyle. So you know what I'm finna still do. I'm finna show you guys how I did this hairstyle. It's more like a like my first time doing it. I am gonna give you guys some tips on how I achieve this look. Um, so if you guys like why does everybody want to mow the lawn when I want to record? Like when I was doing my makeup, it was dead silent. Now all of a sudden people want to mow their lines and do this and be all that. Go back in the house. So yeah, I tell you guys like some tips on how I achieved this look. It was actually kind of easy. It took me a little a minute just because my arms were like hurting so yeah if you guys want to see what i did to create this look then definitely keep on watching we good mic check one two one two low-key y'all bullied me into doing this hairstyle like low-key but um yeah so this is how it is looking i have 34 parts i did 34 parts and i braided them because this is using the crochet method i don't know how else you could do it Oh, I guess you could like break the hair into it. I saw some people do it like that, but I just did it this way because I felt like this was gonna be easier. Um, And the hair that I'm using, it's the same hair that I used on my Passion Twist. I had some extra, thank God I bought some more because I cannot find this hair color at all. So this is how it looks. It's a three bundle pack Um, and it's the Motown Tress and this is in the color five. 30. This is like the perfect color for my hair. All right, so I take two pieces and then I go like this to kind of fluff them up because the fluffier, the better, honestly. And I'm fluffing both sides. Okay. Now, take a crochet needle and go through. Leave that there. And then I grab my hair, bring it through. And then I take my braid and then I pull that through and tighten it. Okay, so now it looks something like this. And then you just wanna start wrapping your hair around the braid, like at the base as close to the base as you possibly can. And I wrap it around a couple of times. And then in order to get like that butterfly look, just start wrapping it loose. And then it'll start to look kind of you know, like that distressed look. Then for the end, I pretty much take it and I wrap it around my finger and then I come up. All right, so that's how it looks at first, like this. Like, it's very, you know, not given what I want. So, I'm gonna take another piece. I'm gonna just use this one. And this is already fluffed up because this part was supposed to be in there. And I'm gonna go around the base again. <laughs> So there we have 
have one so you guys can see and then i'm gonna just go through and do the rest but i'm gonna show you guys the front part because the back the back is like so hard to do oh yeah so i had to end up getting um another brand of hair but um so this is free trust this is the bohemian braiding hair and this is in the color 118 this is how it looks so that's this one is tighter than the other one i don't recommend you do it with the bohemian um curl but you can this one is the water wave and then this one is the bohemian curl just bohemian curl so you can see like it's, it's definitely tighter than the water wave but either way like you're still gonna get the same look so now what i'm about to do is i'm about to fluff these little pieces and i found that pulling the hair all the way through makes it look better because this one i pulled the braid through the crochet hair well the the hair and you see how it looked like that ew i don't like that and like you see how this one looks this one i just wrapped it around the braid and it doesn't have like you know that weird separation like this one so yeah i don't recommend that you do it that way but yeah so now that the hair is fluffed out then i just wrap it around and i wrap it around probably like three times until i feel like it's tight enough i will say though this hairstyle it does, like you can feel it, okay? <laughs> like with the passion twist, you can barely feel that it's there. Like it just feels like nothing, honestly. It's very comfortable. This one, it just feels like, I just know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, like it's just weird. <laughs> tip that I've been doing. I've been using this little nail glue. Like if I feel like it's not holding how I want it to, you know, I'll just add a little bit of nail glue right up in there. And then I take something just to like press the hair together. And then for the top part, like you know, you can leave it like this if you want, but if you really want that butterfly look, then I just take the crochet needle. Y'all, he brought in my shoe. Okay, let me just show y'all this real quick. So like, I'll just take the needle, the hook like that, and kind of go like that to make it, you know, give it that butterfly distressed look. That's the most easiest way I found that I should do it. Use some nail glue if it's not sticking or if it's not staying how I want it to. This will make it stick and hold. And then I don't, I don't pull the braid through. I don't like the one there, it don't look good. Yeah, I'm about to just show y'all the rest. So right here you see how like it's getting like a little bit thinner. So I'm gonna add it right here. Just hold it and then start wrapping it around. Okay, now I'm wrapping it loose. And that is how you add in hair. If you need it to be longer, that's in that's how you add in the hair. <laughs>
wow. Like, <laughs> Baby, don't mind my straps. Huh? Oh, because I thought a chick who couldn't do her own hair said something. Ooh, this is so cute. Um, I really hope y'all like this look. Gosh, this is like so different for me because I'm used to like twists and braids and stuff. I've never done locks before. Sleeping in it was okay. I will say this hair is, it's not heavy, but it's heavier than the passion twist. And it feels like um, kind of itchy in a sense. Maybe because it's like so distressed and stuff. And it was hot. It was super hot last night. Like I was, I woke up sweating. I do recommend this hairstyle if you are like a beginner at doing protective styles, like doing your own hair. I do recommend this style. Um, I don't feel like I'm gonna get that much breakage because this is like crocheted in. So that's a good thing because sometimes rubber bands can break my hair off just a little bit. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot. Subscribe to my channel to be a part of the gang and see my other tutorials and videos and vlogs and all that good stuff. And follow me on Instagram. I forgot to say that. Follow me on Instagram at naturally.sunny. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Tell me.